Good Saturday morning, YouTubers. Um, I want to kind of touch a little bit. A lot of guys that haven't talked about it um, and things, and I feel that it's a tool. Um, we all use them. And um, I got the idea the other day, um, and I wish I'd have done one a little sooner. Uh, <clears throat> and a lot of you guys know Clay from Coon Trucking. Um, he uh, had a pair of uh, snap-on gloves that has, I call it, it's like a, um, and I've got a pair here. Um, actually, I've got two pair, um, and I've cut the, uh, these are just my yard gloves now, but um, I've, and they're pretty rough shape, but I've cut the fingers out of them because th for some reason, I don't know what it is about this material, um, I noticed they use it in shoes. I noticed they use it in a lot of different things. Um, I don't know if it's a, um, uh, what type of uh, material it is, but it, uh, sometimes you think, you know, when you're using a pair of these gloves, that, you know, because it's got the leather padding and stuff and that, that, that they're, you know, you can grind or cut with them or, or whatever. But uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys have run into this instant, but I, uh, we learned it in working in the uh, factory when we used grinders and things and was building things. Uh, welding and cutting with these are a no-no. Um, they will melt, catch fire. Um, I've seen guys, you know, pull them off. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the whole glove catch on fire. Um, and that's one thing, you know, you, you really got to watch uh, when you're buying a set of these gloves, if you're doing any grinding, cutting, um, even uh, chemicals. I've seen, you know, a lot of chemical burns and stuff. Uh, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about this morning. Um, you know, I, uh, I've got a lot of different, uh, the Power Blue, these gloves I've had here for, for probably... I would say 10 years. I just hate to get rid of them. They're, uh, they're TIG gloves is what they are. Uh, I've used them for uh, TIG welding, um, MIG welding, things like that. Uh, in my opinion, you know, these are good for, for welding and what have you. Uh, when we first started out in industrial maintenance, um, everybody had... This was one of the things they wanted us to use was, uh, I call them old farm gloves. You know, we used to use them for fencing and, and things like that. Um, me personally, grinding and that, I just, I don't want a heavy pair of gloves. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't, uh, you know, I just, I, I don't feel comfortable in a, a heavy pair of gloves. And these are insulated also, and, and you just can't move your hands, it, it just, in my opinion, it restricts your hands. Um, that's why I like the TIG gloves. Uh, you know, a lot of times, and I've got a pair here, I'll show you, these are a, a different style of TIG gloves. And, you know, I have, in the past, when I was uh, doing a lot of MIG welding, I was using these. Uh, and this isn't the pair. I thought I grabbed the pair. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, when I was MIG welding, um, I've had a couple times where these got thin, and the slag had caught the uh, the finger right in through here on fire. Uh, it didn't burn all the way through, but you know it uh, it hurt the glove. And uh, I was grinding. Make a long story. A long story short, I was grinding one time, and there was a guy across from me grinding, and you know mine was uh, going over on his side, and and that, and it was funny. We both had smelt something burning, and he had the <clears throat> the old school like this. Well, mine had caught his glove on fire, and his grinder uh, sparks had caught just that little spot. I had got mine off, you know, fast enough to where <clears throat> it didn't burn me. His, on the other hand, uh, it burnt, you know, and it stuck to his skin. Uh, and that's one thing I, I just want to say, guys, when, when you're grinding or cutting something, uh, even with a torch, uh, 
cutting something with a grinder, you know, grinding, uh, you, you know, just have the uh, proper stuff. You know, I, I'm not here to scold anybody or, or tell them, hey, this is a, uh, it's just like safety glasses. It, it's common sense. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys say, oh, I don't need safety glasses or I don't need that. And they lose an eye and then they say, well, man, I wish I'd have uh, wore that. You know, I, I went so many years without having an accident and then they have one and they're regretting it because they don't have an eye or they don't have, you know, a digit. And, and that's the main thing when we're doing this stuff. Um, we all want to go home or we all want to end the, the day with uh, the digits we started with or, you know, our eyes and things. And, you know, it's, things can happen. I, I seen a guy one time, he was, uh, didn't, it was a, it was a lucky thing that he had his safety glasses on and it still didn't protect his eye. He had a screwdriver that he was hunkering down on and he slipped off of it and the screwdriver knocked his safety glasses off and it went into his eye. And they saved his eye, and, and that, you know, it's a little messed up. But it's the fact of the matter is he was one of them that, you know, it could never happen to me. Um, you know, he's like, oh, I've always done this or I've always done it. But it, it happens in an instant. And, and that's all I'm trying to say, is, especially with your hands um, and your feet. Uh, and I'll be the first to admit, I've had some shoes that are made out of this material. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, one time I was kind of lazy and my feet was hurting and I decided uh, that I was just going to wear my regular street shoes to uh, to work, which was a no-no. And uh, I found out real quick we was uh, welding on some uh, guard railing and stuff and within about five, ten minutes, uh, I looked down and my shoe was on fire. Uh, you know, it burnt my shoe. So if you've got any of this material, like I said, I'm not real sure what it's made out of, what it is, but just watch. If you're using them for grinding, cutting, anything like that, please don't wear them. Um, just be cautious. Um, you know, check the gloves. And, and I had uh, a different style glove, but I couldn't find them today. But uh, it, it's just one of them things that, you know, we don't think about, and uh, I just thought I'd throw it out this Saturday morning, and I appreciate, uh, you know, everybody out there um, for subscribing to my channel, and, um, you know, just like, share, comment, uh, subscribe. Once again, thank you, Clay. You give me the idea for this video. Uh, go check out Clay Coon Trucking, uh, go check out uh, Justin ATV, um, just go out and check all these other YouTube channels out and subscribe to their channels also, like, share, comment, and we will see you in the next video. God bless.